Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Anike. So two months ago, I uploaded this video, which has got a very nice response and in terms of comments as well. As you can see, the the UI is happening here. If I uh, click on next button and previous button, so all the uh, all this animation is handled by Figma itself. So let's start. Okay. So uh, before implementing or designing any onboarding screen, like uh, you need to uh, keep in mind that you need to use very few colors. But as you can see, I have used so many colors because it is a requirement and uh, you guys are like it so i just pre-made this video with the given requirements and let's see okay. so in the figma uh, let's just create let's just start by creating a new design file and we are going to design this ui for our application let's just create a frame by pressing an f key and selecting an iphone so you got a frame very nice frame okay so before uh, designing this UI, so what I I, I have uh, downloaded this assets which I'm going to use in this project and these are the certain elements which I have made by uh, using a pen tool, a shape tool. So before going to implement this screen, they just uh, select a frame and give it a background. So for this project, I am using some subtle backgrounds which is a light in color and so let's just uh, play in between this color range okay as you can see i am choosing very light colors so that your text colors will get more highlighted okay as that is the main aim here okay so let's just bring this okay now i have downloaded few uh, asset here but in uh, let's just bring this here in figma So before uh, designing our uh, designing our UI for this project, they just bring all the elements in the in the frame. Okay, so I am just placing the each and every element here. So for text, I have used Open Science font. So let's just choose that. For headings, I am giving extra bold. Okay. So here you can give your title. So I I am choosing this title. Okay. I keep my text very tidy uh, so that the entire screen gets filled in. For the other text, I just use Lorem Ipsum string, which uh, I hope you guys have heard it before. So here, let's just put Lorem Ipsum string. Then, just duplicate this uh, line and let's just create a skip button okay. as you can see the the frame is too big for this so here is a shortcut just double tap on it on the edge of this text view and uh, it will just wrap your text and give you the result which you want okay so let's just click uh, bold and let's just skip it as it is let's just uh, keep the font size to 60 and let's let me just make sure the font size is correct now let's just create a next button that is choosing an icon so i use iconify uh, plugin from figma so let's just click on next button and use it import this as you can see it is get it got imported here but it is not in our frame so let's just drag that in my frame and let's use it so here it is uh, my next button let's just increase this size around the 34 pixel and to give a background let's just click on shape and choose a rectangle make sure you have chosen the rectangle and let's just wrap it uh, wrap your icon on in it okay and let's just move your uh, icon to the foreground okay as you can see in, on the layer section you have the your icon and you got the background of the your button so let's just bring two in one frame that is you can click by choosing a frame selection now make sure your uh, button and your icon is aligned so let's just click 
on these two layers and make it make sure it is in center right now choose the rectangle and choose the color and to make your rectangle it is rounded you have a property here called as radius corner radius so let's just choose this radius as 10 as you can see you won't see any difference but as you can see i guess i can keep on increasing it gets in now just frame this entire bottom as a group in a frame and let's give it a name as bottom and now the all elements of this frame are complete now let's work on shape part here uh, so i have few shapes in my mind uh, which i'm going to draw uh, from scratch and let's see how the output is so for triangle i just choose this uh, polygon shape and just drag it so let's just uh, bring this triangle here and let's choose this color same as background but little more highlighted now let's uh, go on to a second shape that is a semi circle one so for this i have choose a paint tool and let's just create this line by default it won't have any height but as you can see if we apply some stroke here it will get a background to this part now let's choose the color similar to what we have so i'm choosing the color which this image puts uh, to the foreground let's just uh, increase this stroke height and should let's just choose this rounded corners and as you can see we have our shape here now so let's come to the another shape that is a donut shape as you can see we have a tubular circle so let's just create a tubular circle And we have this two circles which are actually giving us very nice effect when we swipe in between screens. As you can see the circles are just passing through each other when I just slide in between the screens. Okay. So let's just create these two circles. So again I choose the circular shape and let's draw the circle. As you can see I have this circle. So let's just make a circle and we we'll call it as this color and let's just duplicate it by clicking on alt option and dragging it to the bottom and here I will just increase the size of this circle perfect okay so we have our first frame ready and let's let's not uh, so as you can see we have our first screen ready and let's just jump to the another screen which is by duplicating this screen Now, to make this shape animate, let's just rotate this shape as well as this shape. And 
this shape as well. Okay, now this is looking very nice. Now just let's just create a third clip. As you can see guys, we are done with the UI. Now let's just add animation to it which will bring a life to this assets and which will uh, which will just bring our UI to the life. Okay. Uh, so how we can add an animation to in Figma is by going to this prototype tab and by going to this prototype tab you can create a certain animations when we are navigating in between your frames. Okay, so we just add uh, interaction in between frame 1 and frame 2. My interaction will be on drag and let's just push this slide when we drag to it and we have to create a smart animation while we are adding the transition. The transition time will be of 800 milliseconds or the animation which we are applying will be a quick one. So let's just add a back animation as well so from frame 2 to frame 1 similar operation on drag push now the push uh, direction will be reverted and the uh, animation time is as same as 800 milliseconds now let's just run as you can see i am dragging back the animation is happening very smooth and you can get your effect very quick now let's do the similar thing on the other frames as well so from frame 2 to frame 3 on drag push animation will be this and from frame 3 to frame 2 on drag push animation detection smart animation on and time is perfect now let's apply the same animation to the buttons as well this will be on tap animation not on drag animation okay because we are tapping the button now we have added all the interactions to our elements and now coming to the truth let's run it as you can see uh, from the first page we have this while we are dragging it is smoothly transitioned to this frame by changing the background by adding the rotation and changing the image and the text and everything you will get a seamless experience you will get a seamless experience here as well when we tap on each and every buttons beautiful isn't it i hope you uh, like the video and uh, you understand this animation how the animation works in figma uh, I'll drop my Instagram link up in the video here. So here is my Instagram and if you like the video, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.